What's up guys, it's HammerDown48 coming at you today. We're going to be taking a look at my fantasy lineup for next week, week one, fantasy football. So like I said, I told you in my last video that I have a six person league and uh, we're going to go over my lineup. So this is my lineup. Uh, if you take a look at here, like I said, I'm trying to I'm trying not to make this video too long, but um, we're gonna go through it real quick. So, <laughs> as a Detroit Lions fan, you always want to have Matt, uh, have Matthew Stafford on your hands. Um, I will say, if you look down here on my bench, I do have two other quarterbacks: Andrew Luck and Carson Palmer. My first pick was Andrew Luck, but it sounds like he's not gonna start. Uh, the first week, he's still battling that that injury he had last year and that surgery. So I ended up picking up Matthew Stafford second, and then I picked Carson Palmer off the waivers. So uh, I think I'm going to start Matthew Stafford this week, uh, or this coming up week in week one. Uh, here's my next player running back. As you see, a lot of people are going to say, Marshawn Lynch, why Marshawn Lynch? Well, let me tell you something. I read something that on the article that Marshawn Lynch might be the starting running back with another guy on the Oakland Raiders, and I think he's going to be a huge, huge yards guy and a, and a points guy in fantasy. I picked him up, and you know what? I'm probably going to start him um, in the first week. Uh, next guy I got is, uh, I believe, Devontae Freedom, Freeman. Um, yes, it is. Um, he's a big guy to have. If you don't, <coughs> excuse me, if you don't have this guy, you need to pick him up. Same way with, uh, Antonio Brown. I'm going to start these two guys, uh, Freeman and Brown, first week of the season. Um, like I said, two big killer guys, Freeman and Brown. Uh, same way with Amar Coop, uh, Cooper. Um, big guy. Could put up some big, huge points in fantasy. And, um, obviously, I'm going to start him the first week. Here we go with the tight end spot. A lot of people have problems with tight ends in fantasy football. Just because they don't get you, they don't get balls passed to them uh, much. Um, and if they do, it's not very, very many points or yards in fantasy. But, I did some thinking, and I did pick up Rob... Gronkowski, and here's the reason why I picked up Rob Gronkowski. If anybody remembers, Edelman is done for this season. Torn ACL. Well, you know what? Who you think is going to be the next target for Tom Brady, Tom Brady to throw down the field? Well, you know what? I think it's going to be Rob Gronkowski. I believe it's going to be Rob Gronkowski, and I think he's going to get a lot of more touches, a lot of more balls thrown to him. And I think he's going to be a very good killer tight end for fantasy football. Um, next one is Thomas. Now I'm kind of a little iffy about this guy. This is the uh, this is the guy that I picked up in fantasy to where at the point of fantasy football draft night, uh, I was like, well, all the guys are taken. I don't know who to pick. So basically, I picked up this guy and... Which I kind of know a little bit about him, but I'm not sure if I'm going to start him the first week. Anyways, next position is the kicker. I picked up the Dallas kicker. I tried to pick up Matt Prater from my team. Somebody else picked him up, so I had to pick up the Dallas kicker. Then, my defense is the Cardinals defense. Um, I think the Cardinals defense can ha have a lot of potential in this season this year. Um, they did pretty well last year, uh, and I picked them up this year. This is my bench. I'm going to go through this real quick. Obviously, like I said, I got Andrew Locke, Carson Palmer, and this is the guy I'm very interested with. I don't know. I might start him. I still haven't have decided if I'm going to start him the first week or not. Carlos Hyde. I think he could be a very potential guy for running back. And you can see on, on, on your screen that he is 99.0% owned in fantasy. And uh, I just, I don't know. I might switch him out with Thomas. I, I just, I, can't, I don't know yet. Um, got Landry, Golden Tate. Golden Tate could be a good potential wide receiver. 
and fantasy. And then my tight end to replace for Rob Gronkowski when he goes out for um, for his bye week. I got Kyle, I believe Kyle Rudolph for the yes for the Minnesota Vikings. So that is my fantasy lineup right now. It might change, but like I said, I want to try something different uh, uh, this year in uh, in football. And why not hit it out with a bang with a fantasy football? Draft fantasy football uh, uh, notes, fantasy football things to talk about. So, anyways, like I said, let me think what you guys think about my lineup down below. Let me see in the comments below what you think. Um, and, and if you need help with fantasy football, shoot me a text, shoot me a, 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 a <laughs> down below in the comments anything you need help with. And like I said, this is my fantasy lineup. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later.